to talk on a very important topic projectile motion so whenever you talk about projectile motion try to visualize this projectile motion into three parts then it will be very easy for any student to understand and in today's lecture we are going to cover the first part the first projectile motion type is ground to ground projection second type is projection from certain height the last type is projection <clears throat> up or down the inclined plane in today lecture we are going to complete this ground to ground projection is a basic once the basic is clear then you can understood the this part and this part so what happen ground to ground projection first of all i, I would like to uh, make you everyone clear only the ground will act the ground to ground projection is symbol that same level means the level from where you are projecting the body the body will come back on the same level so we also call same level projection so many student think from a name is it ground to ground projection so it will come only start from ground only no same level projection even you are throwing some body from a roof and the ball is coming back or body is coming back on the roof this is also a type of ground to ground projection so what happened in this case suppose there is a ground and from the ground we project any body at speed u at an angle theta from the ground okay so you have to analyze the situation and what all happen in this so the particle is here after some time if you see this particle carefully then on the particle only one force is acting here on particle that is force of gravity and no other force acting and if i am assuming x direction uh, horizontal direction as a x direction and if you take uh, uh, vertical direction as a y direction so you can say that the force acting in a y direction and this force will produce mass into acceleration in y direction and therefore we get acceleration in y direction is minus g minus is here direction that acting in a downward direction so this body has a acceleration in y direction acting in a downward direction and since no force in x direction the force in x direction is zero there no force in x direction so obviously mass is not be zero though acceleration in x direction is zero so there are two important thing we have to keep in mind when discussing the ground to ground projection right now for the time being now how to solve this question they are they ask you many thing in this question uh, for example they ask you find the maximum height achieved by the particle above the ground what is the time taken by particle to reach at the maximum height what is the total time taken by the particle to return back on the ground and when the particle return back on the ground where hit it will hit the ground with the same position or some other position and many more question come in this question will take uh, care of next section today my main uh, projection is that i will make you visualization of projectile motion first of all you have to make a table table is a backbone of this concept you have to prepare a table and any student who successfully prepare the table they most of time they will able to hit the question of projectile motion and table is very simple you have to divide the table in into two parts one for x and one for y and you have to write three major component ux and then uy then ax or then ay and then x not and then one. these are the major component of table there are more part will come but these are the basic fundamental thing which must be in table so why i am dividing the table into two part because in, this is a it's a case of 2d motion because what happening body see here if you uh, try to visualize in a very simple way the y component is taking the body in the y direction and bringing back along the y direction but the x component of velocity taking the particle in the x direction so simultaneously at the same time particle moving in two direction so it is a motion in 2d case that's why i am dividing the uh, or taking the two direction separately now what you have to fill the data only so as you know the vector can be easily resolved when we resolve the vector this component is coming out to be u cos theta x component by the concept of resolution of vector and this coming out to be u sin theta ux is the initial velocity or velocity of projection at t equal to 0 you can also say 
So this become I can write u cos theta here. Uh, make it more correct. So this will become u cos theta. And ui will become now u sin theta. So I got one important part of table. Now I have already explained the expression in x component is always 0 and expression in y component is always minus g. Minus is only taking that opposite direction. And third important thing what most of the time what you have to do from where your particles the projection make it origin or always as origin. What is the benefit of origin? The initial position always come out to be your 0 and you know 0 always make our calculation very simple. So these are the basic part of table that every student need to prepare uh, prepare while solving the question of projectile motion. Now you can add more thing now from your concept. Now while I am seeing the expression is 0 then we can very easily say that again ki Vx will be constant because if Vx is constant the rate of change of Vx is acceleration. So in the x direction expression is 0. So velocity will not change that means the velocity will be equal to initial velocity in x. But velocity in y is not like that because there is acceleration and acceleration will change that you have to calculate. But one more thing you can uh, know from here that x component of velocity is always constant and that will be equal to ux throughout the motion. So these are the important thing about the ground to ground projection which you have to keep in mind while solving the problem and if you keep all this in mind you can very easily solve the problem. In the next video we will take example of question illustration type and then we'll discuss with you you able to visualize the projectile motion now at least I, i'm not talking about here path and everything it's just a basic part become very clear in the projectile motion thank you